For this differential equation, we're being asked to solve the square root of x squared plus 1 times y prime equals 6x. And so the, the first thing we should do is to just kind of take a step back and see, are, are there any characteristics of this guy that would hint as to how I would solve it? Um, and I think there are. Uh, one of the characteristics would be this guy's first order. It's got a first derivative and that's all. So because it's first order, that, that uh, hints at what some of the techniques might be uh, in order to solve this guy. If it was second order, we might have to do some different techniques. And probably the biggest thing that I notice is that uh, this differential equation is what we call separable. Now you can think of separable in one of two ways, and they both ultimately mean the same thing. One, one definition of separable would say that if you isolated the derivative on the left-hand side, then on the right-hand side where the x's and the y's and all that kind of stuff would be, you can write it as a function of x times a function of y and have that as a product on the right hand side uh, a product of a function of x times a function of y um, or to, to say it another way uh, ultimately what, the, what that would lead to is being able to put all the x's on one side and all the y's on the other side and literally kind of separate them thus the name separation of variables um, but, but to take it a step before that um, that could be done only if the right hand side could be written as a product of a function of x times a function of y and that, that sort of thing. So uh, I think that's going to be the route we're going to go. We're going to go with separation of variables. We're going to put the derivative on the left. And uh, first things first, let's try to create this product of a function of x times a function of y. So here we go. Um, this guy could be moved to the right hand side by dividing it. And at the same time, I'll write this y prime as dy dx. You could leave it y prime, I suppose, but I think for the, for the upcoming steps, it'd be better to see it as dy dx. And we would have 6x divided by the square root of x squared plus 1, something like that. All right, and then um, next up, uh, well, by the way, first of all, I've shown that it's separable right here this is a function of x times and there's an understood one which is a function of y so uh, there's that product that's created there and so it is separable but let, let's go a step beyond that now that we've shown it's separable how, how do we actually do separation of variables well let's let's try to put the x's with the dx on the on the right hand side so we'd have 6x divided by square root of x squared plus 1 multiply the dx to the right hand side we'll leave the dy on the left hand side and then at the heart of separation of variables here's here's kind of the main point of what what we're going to do um, now that these are separated i can integrate the left side with respect to y and the left side only has y's because we separated them away from the x's and we'll integrate the right hand side um, that only has x's with respect to x. So really the hardest part about these problems is doing the algebra to separate the variables. Uh, past that, it's uh, pretty, pretty straightforward. So let, let's see if we can do this now. The integral of the left-hand side with respect to y uh, would just be y. Now in case that's not clear for any readers uh, or viewers, what, why is this y? Well, this integrand is empty, so there's an understood one and the integral of 1 with respect to y would be y. All right, the, uh, the right-hand side, I think that's pretty prime and ready for u substitution. This looks like a classic calc 1 type of u substitution. I can tell that but, uh, because of the composition that we have here. And so I, I think for, for this example, we would let the u be x squared plus 1 which would make the du equal to 2x dx. So I've still got some work to do on this right-hand side. Um, I don't think we need the 6, so I'll pull the 6 out. So I'll leave the x on the inside, and we'll have um, the square root of x squared plus 1. All right, um, <clears throat> this is 1 over the square root of u, which is a good thing. No, I don't have a 2x dx, I only have an x dx. So I will put a 2 in here, because I need one, and I'll put a 1 half on the outside. 
And so this would be y equals a half times six is three. Then we'd have the integral of um, the two, the x, and the dx. All that together is equivalent to du. Two x dx is the same as du. So I'll put a du over here. Uh, now this part in green that I'm circling right here, one over the square root of x squared plus one, that's a one over the square root of u, one over the square root of u, which I will uh, more conveniently write as u to the negative one half. Now where'd that come from? The negative is because the radical is in the denominator and the one half is because it's a square root. A square root is equivalent to a one half power. Do that integration. This is a simple power rule. We'd get y equals three. This would be u to the positive one half divided by one half. But instead of that, I'll say times the reciprocal. So times two over one plus C. So all of this is basic, straightforward, calc one type type stuff, power rule, integration. Um, so this is roughly your answer, y equals six. Uh, the last step is, uh, as you well know, we don't wanna leave our answer in terms of u. u was originally a function of x. I'm gonna put that expression back in my answer. So instead of the square root of u plus c, I'll put the square root of x squared plus one plus c. And you'll notice this guy right here, he has no derivatives or anything of that, that uh, sort uh, because we, when we integrated, we got rid of these differentials dy and dx. So in, in essence, I solved the differential equation. This is the solution to the original differential equation. If you wanted to check yourself, you could take that for y and take his derivative and plug it in here and uh, I'll, I'll bet you that this side winds up equaling this side. In other words, it's a uh, correct solution to this differential equation. So that's, that's pretty interesting. So anyways, um, hope that example helped you understand uh, separation of variables just a little bit better.